The idea of Music Hills program is to bring the healing power of music to victims of war, to former child soldiers, to kids who were exposed to the worst tragedies. When I say young people who were kidnapped very early age and turned into killers. They were made to kill people in their families. They were made to kill people in their villages. And now they're trying to come back into society. I happen to have been captured by, by the LRS sometime. I went to the bush, but I'm so happy that I'm alive, I came back. Things were so hectic there. Like you could kill someone against your will. Somebody who has never done something bad to you. But I asked that what? Kill that person. Which is not good. But if you were to refuse, then they would finish you up. On this trip, we selected three individuals that we worked with. And um, it's, this was so that we can follow them, so that we can work with them, help them bring out their pain through music, but especially bring out their dreams for the future through music. And um, it really, it's, it's a really powerful program because you can see the process as it works. You can see the beginning as you're beginning to talk about how they're going to say their stories through music. You can see they're anxious, you can see they're afraid, but then you can see as they begin to get the idea and they're blossoming and it's a really, really beautiful program. So we find out what their interest is, you know, if they are interested in music, if they're interested in poetry, interested in something to do with the arts. Other people provide them with food, with shelter, with education. Sometimes they, we forget the healing the soul. And I think music has the power to do that. Take six, I think it is. The three boys that came in from Soroti came to Kampala to join me in this uh, Music Hills program. Justin, Mercy and Philip are some of the most amazing people that I've ever met. Um, you could tell they've gone through a lot in their life. You can tell that it's not easy for them to express, to, to say what they went, they went through because it wasn't easy. It's not something that you want to brag about. But I can see that they want the world to hear. They want the world to change. They want to change and bring peace. Of course, you can hear it through the music. That's what they're singing. They say, put the gun down, bring peace, bring peace, stop killing. You know, I think um, there's no more powerful message. Uh, you know, you can't ask for a more powerful message. With peace, no more war. With love, no more cry. With love, no more cry. Just peace. Just peace. Harmonize the place to make a better place. Almighty Creator, all we need is peace. Drop the guns. Keep harmony closer. Befriend the world. I'm the world. You're the world. We're the world. Cry. 
Just peace. Just peace.
Musicians for World Harmony has partnered with ADI, a Cork Regional Development Initiative in Lira, Uganda, to bring the healing power of music to former child soldiers. Our initial field work there laid the foundation for our pioneer program of virtual and sustainable weekly sessions via the internet. Professor Karin Wax, who is our Director of Education and Mental Health Programs, and myself, conduct these weekly workshops that have grown to include dozens of people from the Lira community, students from Berkeley College of Music, and musicians from the U.S. When you're ready, close your eyes, if you can. Concentrate on your breathing. In your mind's eye, imagine as you listen to the music, a beautiful place. You hear children's voices, it makes you feel good. Everybody together, I want to sing, 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 I want to shout, 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 I want to sing, I want to shout all day long. When my friends are by my side, I feel These weekly virtual sessions are conducted using Google Hangout and are a dream come true for musicians from World Harmony. Yeah. 